Sup guys, Watercoolful, and today we're going to be talking about port forwarding for your computer. Uh, you can pretty much do it on the Xbox One 360, as you can see the list here in front of me, so I'm not going to name all of them. But um, some of them are, I should say, some of the uh, perks of doing this. You'll have the ability to host lobbies, better KD ratios. I'm calling BS on that just because you're going to have to be good at the game for you to even get good KD ratios. Um, connect to a friend's lobby a lot easier, more stable when playing with friends, less likely to get kicked from a lobby, better voice chat stability, and a generally better gaming experience. So when you go ahead and you click on here, you're going to get a list of all the routers that is located here. Um, and your router may or may not be listed in this whole plethora of routers that they have listed here. Um, my router, the R8000, or AKA the Nighthawk Times 6, is um, not listed on here. So it took me about a minute to figure it out, and once I figured it out, it was pretty snappy, you know, just me analyzing how everything works. So you get this guide up, and you'll coincide and bring up your. Um, Basically, your router, you know, pretty much uh, to get in your router is probably going to be 192.168.1.1 or be 168.0.1, just depending on what it is or what your router specifications are to get into the settings. For the Nighthawk, what you have to do is you load up, you log in and everything. You're going to click on advance. I already did these steps, so my IP address isn't shown and all that stuff. But you click on advance, and you'll click on port forwarding slash port triggering. And uh, pretty much you're going to say, well, how are you going to add these ports? What do you need to do? Well, how to do this, and you're going to do this three times in a row. So hopefully I'll be able to kind of explain it and uh, do it one time and you guys can pretty much figure out what to do after that. So once you're in here, depending on your router, for me, I'm using the Nighthawk, um, what you have to do is click um, Add Custom Service. I have to log in for some reason. Really? Please click Really. Just more crap I have to deal with. But anyways, you're going to click on Add Custom Service. Let that load up. And you're going to do blah, 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 Jason, or whatever name of it and everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, back out of here. And I'm going to click on Edit Service. So that's how you do it for um, my personal router. So we're going to go here and look at the settings that I inputted. So for service name, name 1, you're going to have TCP and UDP. 3478 is the port that you want open. So this will be the internal and the external port. Down here, select any attached devices. As you can tell here, Jason Gaming. This is the IP address that it has assigned right here. Also, I'm probably going to get a flack um, because I didn't do a static IP address. So that means when you set up these settings like this, and you didn't create a static IP address and you restart your router or anything like that your router may designate a different IP address so you're gonna to have to go in and manually change it so it will behoove of you to set up a static IP address for your computer I will be doing that probably um, very shortly or something like that I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a video but anyways Again, name one TCP slash UDP 3478 is your port. Internal, external, make sure you have it addressed to your computer, and you're done. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click back. Now we're going to do the next one edit service. So, right here, I just did name three TCP slash UDP 2700. Zero to 27050 internal and external um, port and it should automatically transfer here go ahead and select your computer again click apply or save and you're good to go on your router 
and then we're going to click the last one aka probably the second one as you can see what I implemented here so we're going to go ahead and click edit service name two doesn't matter what service name it is TCP slash UDP 4379 to 4380 both internal and external ports and again make sure you have your computer selected for the ports and that is it and we'll go ahead right here you can take a little screenshot right here all the information from here to here is the same however the service name and your internal IP address will probably more than likely be different but these are the ports that you need for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare I have noticed when I'm logging into the game uh, with these ports opened and everything that I am getting into the games a lot faster as far as loading up my uh, as soon as you click on Call of Duty game loads up a little bit quicker getting into lobbies are also a lot quicker getting into the game seems to load up a lot quicker too so there are some perks in doing this I guess uh, I guess give it a try and see if you like it um, thank you guys for watching this video and as always comment subscribe rate this video click that like button Share this video if you found it interesting and or helpful, and you guys have a great day now. Bye.